Good evening, everyone. I'm Joe V. Hill. And I'm Emily Carlson. Tonight is a difficult night for family and friends of teenagers Brooke McFeeders and Jordan Durr. Four years ago, right about now, they were walking home from Diamond, Diamond Center Mall after buying school clothes. Around 6.30, a drunk driver hit and killed them on a walking path. We head live to where the deadly crash happened at 88th and Abbott. Keith Coulter is there. He and other friends just walked the path the girls walked back in 2013. So, Keith, you were Brooks, uh, junior ROTC instructor at South High School at the time. You're standing right where the girls passed away. What are your thoughts about being out there on the fourth anniversary? Well, I have to say, it is, it brings it all back again, and it is not easy. Um, we continue. We continually keep them in our hearts, and and uh, it's not so bad that way. But walking the walk and coming here, uh, and knowing what took place here, I have to say, it it still breaks me up. It still gets to me. Um, uh, it's very difficult. What were your thoughts as you walked from the Diamond Center Mall to where you are right now? Uh, we were talking about that quite a bit on the way over, and it's just. There are so many obstacles along the way here with traffic and lights and um, turnouts. And any one of those moments could have been the thing that slowed their progress. And they and we wouldn't be here today. Um, and, uh, you know, it just it's the whole thing was very surreal. Um, but amidst all of that, we thought consistently about how special they were to us and how much we wish we, we wish we didn't have to be here. And we are looking at the drunk driver in court there. Now, Keith, you walk the path from Diamond and 88th and Abbott each year. Why is it so important to you? Well, we feel like the message is the, is the truly important factor that just making a public statement of people outside coming to a place that was such a horrific accident to remember why uh, this took place. This took place because of complacency, uh, because of ignorance. Um, and a disregard for the, the, right, the right thing to do behind the wheel. There were 1,300 DUIs in 2016 here in this town alone. And since their death, there were 14 other people who were killed due to DUIs as well. And it's just unacceptable for a town this size and for a town that's so concerned with its community sense. Um, I feel like there needs to be some changes. And I really feel like it comes from that core family uh, of friends and, and having the courage to take keys away from people. Um, uh, so when we walk this walk, it really is an attempt to remind us of the fact that I think we all have a responsibility within our own families and communities still. All right, Keith, well, I know it's a, a tough night for you, Keith, the people you're with and others. We do want to thank you tonight for taking your time to talk. Uh, it's, my, it's my pleasure. Thank you, sir, for, for giving us the time to have a voice here. All right, Keith, thanks.